Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, brethren. We come to the house of the Lord to worship today. We have gone through a week of service. And he is so wonderful. He is so compassionate. He blessing our soul. And at this time before the service starts, I'm going to call all that want to come to the altar and pray. Let God move in this place because we have a good time and we are enjoying ourselves in, it, in the Lord. I'm going to ask Evangelist Carter, while they come to the altar and pour out their heart to God before the service starts and pray. Who want to come to the altar and intercess yourself with God? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I sing because I'm happy. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Because I am free Oh, it's I want And I know He watches Hallelujah, hallelujah I sing I I sing because let us turn up our hearts oh, to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because I'm free. Oh, glory. What you need from the Lord of the altar, you can get it. If you are sick, if you are distressed, if you are burning down, you are right there to help you. He's watching you right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. One more time. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Because I'm happy. I think God, we thank you this morning. Your eyes are on the sparrow. Hallelujah. 
And I know this morning without the shadow of a doubt, hallelujah, that you are watching over us. Hallelujah. We thank you this morning for your watching eyes. We thank you this morning, hallelujah, for looking over us today, Lord God Almighty. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your grace. Hallelujah. We thank you for your favor. Hallelujah. A new morning, oh God Almighty. New mercies we see. Oh glory, this morning we thank you. Hallelujah. Your eyes are on the sparrows this morning. Oh God Almighty. And we know for sure, God, that you are watching over us. We thank you this morning for a new day. We thank you, God, for a beautiful week that has passed. Oh, we thank you, oh God, for entering into this place. Oh, God, where you dealt with our hearts. Oh, God, you gave us a word, oh, God Almighty. Oh, God Almighty, you stood in this place. Hallelujah, and you met the needs of your people. Oh, we are strengthened this morning. Hallelujah. We are made strong this morning in your presence. Hallelujah. We thank you for your power that was over this place. And so this morning we come, oh God Almighty, and we are still resting on your promises, God. Because you promised this morning that you will never leave nor forsake us. God Almighty, we come this morning empty-handed, oh God, and still looking to you. Oh God Almighty, for new mercies, hallelujah. It could have been this morning, oh God, that none of us, oh God, would live to see this morning. But it's because of mercies, hallelujah, brand new, undeserved. Oh God, yet we are here. Oh God Almighty, this morning, I just pray that you might remember your people everywhere. I just pray this morning you'll strengthen your people everywhere. I pray this morning that some sick souls, some sick minds, some sick bodies, oh God, will be touched. We'll get a word, oh God, of strength, of healing, of revival. Hallelujah, this morning, some confused minds this morning will be stored to proper health. Oh God Almighty, and you will rain upon the hearts of your people. This morning, we are helpless without you. We cannot do without you this morning. You are our source. You are our strength. Oh God Almighty, and so we depend upon you. Remember your man's servant this morning and his family. Thank you this morning for strengthening this morning. Thank you this morning for your grace and your favor upon them. I just pray this morning that you might meet their needs this morning. I pray this morning you satisfy them this morning. I pray this morning you cover them this morning. I pray this morning that you will send your Holy Spirit this morning unto your people wherever they are this morning and bless your people oh god almighty revive us oh god almighty we are in the time of the end oh god and we know you're coming hallelujah we know your coming is near oh god almighty we don't have to look hard and far to see that you are in the coming oh god almighty Lord Jesus, this morning, bless your people, forgive your people, oh God Almighty, and lead us, oh God, this morning with your tender leading hands. Lead us this morning unto perfect victory. We surrender ourselves to you this morning. We put this service in your hand this morning. Bless us this morning and do good to us, we pray, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You can go back to your seat. Go back with the anointing power.
Hallelujah. Grace, grace. God, grace. Grace will pardon and cleanse within. At this time, we continue our service okay. by singing okay. the hymn 143 from the Pentecostal, the best of all, Pentecostal in sorry. The breaking, Jesus break every flitter. And let us look to the Lord. He is there to help us. 143. The team, the team will come to the mic.
hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Jesus praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. another session of prayer I feel to ask Sister Dawn to come and pray for the family of Bishop hallelujah 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 Jesus breaks we are going to pray for the family of Bishop and the church hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Jesus pray. Jesus pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Echo the Mashanda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Almighty God, we see you as the Almighty God. We own you as the Almighty God. We claim you as the Sovereign God. Oh Lord God, you are powerful. You are great. You are wonderful. We bow in your presence this morning. Oh Lord God, Isaiah said you sit on the circle of the earth and you look at us this morning as grasshoppers and as we are in your presence, hopping in your presence today what better place to be than in this sacred house we hail you as master of the sea we hail you as the calm of the storms we hail you as multiplying of the fish and the bread. We hail you as the God who provided the ram in the thicket even when your servant Abraham was going through a level of trauma when he realized he had to offer the one boy you give him. You turned up just in time. We see you as a God of just in time. And we praise you because you are almighty. You only didn't take care of good people. But scriptures tell us you take care of bad people. And this morning some of us are so bad but we are in your presence. What better place to be than to be at your footstool this morning. We come because we have no one else to go to. You take counsel from nobody else. So we come to you for counsel this morning. We come to you on behalf of your servant. You know him by name. You had called him from, he said, from before he was formed. You, you paved the way that he would have been leading your children up to this point. Oh Lord God, and we have proven over and over again that you have been with him. We have seen where you have been with him. He has evangelized this world. He has evangelized this country. But now, oh Lord God, he's in the stage where perhaps 
He needs you more than anything else this morning. You gave him the heart so you can fix it. You gave him those joints to walk, to spread your words and know that he's in this moment of not being so strong as before, you can strengthen the limbs. You gave him the brain. You gave him, you are our creator. You are his creator. You know the area that needs fixing. And you have been doing a marvelous job. But this morning, he needs you. Right now, he needs you. Stand at the door of Turner. Stand at the gate of Turner. Go into his bedroom right now, Almighty God. And do for him what we cannot do. You are the potter. And this morning his clay is broken in so many parts. But you can fix him over. You have been doing it. What a God you are. What a mighty God you are. Today is his better half, his wife's special day. And you know that she needs you more than anything else. The legs that run to help to fix this sanctuary. The legs that run up and down all over the world that this place could be established for souls to be healed, for souls to be delivered, for souls to be prepared for your kingdom. Those legs are hurting this morning. Those hearts are hurting this morning. So we send you into Turner this morning to make that which is not so smooth make it a little smoother that if they are to be here today we will agree with them agree with them join with them in praising you because you are gracious and kind and for those who help to keep up bishop's arm you know them individually we ask you god almighty to fix their problems also they also have their health issues oh glory to god but you're a healer divine and you can take care of those who help to let the, the, the lights be burning enter into their situation this morning and bless them and heal them give peace in their hearts and wherever there is a concern we ask you to attend to it and for your children in this house today some of them are hurting this morning whoever comes through these doors and they are hurting oh lord god you know my savior divine only you can touch the heart only you know the, the area that is hurting so i ask you to touch each of each of your child this morning in the sanctuary heal the pain the area of trauma the area of depression help them to know that lord god when you were going on the cross you suffer depression also because you were likewise tempted as we are till at one point your sweat became as drops of blood so today you are acquainted with our feelings so we ask you to help your children give them a testimony of you that we lift our arms and praise you today in jehovah in your precious name we pray in jesus name. praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord we will sing another song, 190. Let the lower lights be burning, hallelujah. 190.
Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everybody. For our morning's lesson, we will read Psalm 27 and we will read alternate verses. I'm going to ask everyone to stand for the reading of the Word of God. Psalm 27, alternate verses. Amen. Amen. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? The one host should encamp against me. My heart shall not fear. The war should rise against me. In this will I be confident. For in the time of trouble ye shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou says, see ye my face, my heart said unto thee, thy face, Lord, will I see. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as we are. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. 14 and last, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless to our hearts a reading portion of his holy word. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. I'm acting past evangelist, 
McDonald to come and address the service for me and welcome the people over. Come on, Lucky. Praise the Lord, everyone. Come on, stand on your feet if you're still on the winning side. We all are tired, but they can't tire it so much that they can't praise the Lord. Wave those hands in the air. Hallelujah. If you are triumphant, uh, let me hear you say hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We are still winners. And our God reigns supreme. He's triumphant uh, in all his ways. And we are here this morning one more time to magnify and lift up the name of Jesus. All our brethren online, welcome again to the Apostolic Ark 27 on the Avenue, Brownstown, under the leadership of Apostle and Pastor G. Double Johnson. God is in this place, and we're here just to worship Him and to give Him all the honor, all the praise, because He is worthy. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, what a glory that will be. When the ransom soul will sing Oh, oh what a hallelujah man When we reach the new land What a glory man will be Oh, what a glory that will be When the ransom soul will sing to come and praise the Lord. Come. and when she come in she join praise the Lord who is the first one to testify hallelujah hallelujah
all your soul and with all your might. And so this morning, I'm just imploring someone, if you are not ready in Jesus' name to face God at this time, he's calling out to you to repent. God is calling out to you to repent. So it is worth this morning. I'm just asking you, Virgin, just to pray. Pray. Pray in this time. We need prayer.
Sometimes me and my mama at home, I would talk about the apostle. I remember the day when Brown Bellier, when I took sick. And when I was sitting there, brethren, we have to remember the good things. No, yeah. I remember bad things alone, I want to remember the good things then. Right. And when the man wrapped me like this, brethren, I was ill. And brethren, let me tell you something. When I stop talking about this church, even in convention, I had to send out a whole heap of things that people can watch the convention because they heard about this church. Yeah. Brethren, we didn't take it simple because nothing things are going here, so brethren. A whole heap of things are going. No, I mean, no, I'm no. if you carry it back to Portland yes, tomorrow. Lord. Pray for me because I mean, well, with Jesus. Praise in the arms of sweet deliverance, I'm going to lay my heavy burden down and with my Lord. church um, my pastor is pastor wilson my grandmother always came here at convention with our trip every year um, you know to be honest um, you know when a when, when a christian is backslide 
it, it, it pains the heart. And you know, God always, despite being on the outside of the world, God always spoke to me, you know. And from last week, I spoke to God and I, I told God I want to give up the world and I want to come back to him. And I start my fasting and yes. when I start the fasting, it, it, it didn't feel like fasting, but I still pursued. I didn't, I, I go until about 7 to 10 and I break the fasting and I said to God, I God, I want to go to Brownstone because that's the church grandma always watching on TV. She never skipped that channel. And she always talks about Bishop Johnson. Mm -hmm. Always, even from when I was a child. She was always there, Bishop Apostle Johnson. She always said, that man. She, this is to say that she, if God can do that, he can, can do, do this. this. Yeah. She always say that. Yes. And, you know, she always say, Jordan, I know you're growing up and the world is, may seem like everything is after offer, but try Jesus again. And Man. I, I, I was Man. praying the other night and I said, God, I want to go back to you. I want to come back to you. But I, just, I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back like... I just don't want to go back and then go back to the world. Yes. I want to go back and stay with you. Yes, Lord. And I start the fasting and Saturday night, I press my uniform from overnight and everything. And I said, God, when I came to church, if I don't feel your presence in this church, I'm not coming back. <laughs> God and you know, good. when I came this morning at Sunday school, yeah. you know, Elder was saying the light yeah. and I was sitting here and not saying nothing, but he didn't, he, he wasn't observing me. Praise but the Lord. deep in my spirit, I was troubled, you know, and I was praying, I said, God, just don't, I don't want to, I don't want to. Oh, God, it's all right, it's all right. It's okay. God is God. I don't want to go back. God is God. Because I, I, I know what it's like to be out there in the world, you know, and I feel God's presence, and I know who God is, you know, and, when the sister said came to the altar and you know I started to really pray to God and you know God really God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is real. God is praise real. God. I just wanna Thank you, Jesus. constantly praise God and yes. you know get back to God because you know like being out there man is like Mm. It's, it's too much. Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. It's too much. Yeah. It's, it's too much out there, man. Yeah. It's too much. It's just too much. It's just too much. You know, God. Praise God, the Lord. God Praise bless me with a beautiful wife. She's not a Jamaican. And before God let she came and she baptized in the United Pentecostal Church as well. You know, and my grandmother was so happy that 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 I choose somebody who love Christ yes and she 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 said to me she want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and that was my choice yes she said that her mom was a Pentecostal overseas and she said she want to come here in Jamaica and baptize in my church yeah and I, 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 when I say to my grandma she said you can make she baptize in a church down there she said no I want to be baptized in your church I want to be baptized in your grandma church and when she, when she, when we went there, God is good. God is good. That's okay. God is good. 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 Hallelujah. You know, she, she, the presence of the Lord moved. And from that day, you know, I said I want to serve God. Yes. Because I know God really have, have something explored for me, you know. Yes. And, and because I choose to, that I want to go back to God, yes. you know, my life has been, Rough man, it, 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 it has been okay. ten times harder than before, man, because I'm resisting what the devil has to offer me. Yes. Yes. You know, uh, you know I want to say to Bishop Apostle Jensen from 2013, my granny has been coming to this place. She always come here, she never leaves you out, she always Praise buy her CD, she play them night, she play them day. You know, she would, she would, she would even whip my ass to turn the TV on something else that is not Apostle Johnson, you know, but... I can say that growing up now, I really see what she's talking about. Yes. You know, and, you know I just want to tell God I'm sorry. And, and I just want to serve God, you know, because Praise the Lord. I don't want to go back, man. No. I don't know if I'm going to live if I go back in the world because I know there's a lot of young men. I know there's a lot of young, young people in the world and they don't really understand. 
But if you read Revelation, Revelation, it, it's a, it, it, I don't want Revelation. I don't want. I don't want. I want to be dying in Christ. You know, I, I, I prefer dying in Christ. Yeah. I've opened God, and you know, when you choose God, you know, your beating gonna be ten times hotter than the sinners. Deny Christ him because Christ he said you know me and you deny me and I'm going to deny you in front of my father just like how you deny me. Praise the Lord. These things are. I don't want to. I just want to go back and you know praise God and you know feel God's presence again and you know live a life that the Lord wants me to live because you know. Praise God. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I want to say once more thank you, Bishop, for the work that you have been doing. You know, the message has been passing down to young men like me. And you doing this night in Jamaica, overseas, is the first time you're seeing me. I know that, but not the first time seeing you. And I remember you testified that no doctor touched his body. I remember that testimony when he was sick. He said he waited 9, 10, 11 months. And the Lord to deliver him. He said, No doctor would touch his body. And when he went back to the doctor, he was healed. Amen. 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 And I believe that. Christ I believe. Is I believe. God, yes. Same God. And so Hallelujah. I just want to say, Church, let's pray for me. Yes. Prison. Okay, we're going to sing this song. We're going to sing this song to encourage him. You don't have to worry. You don't have to worry. And don't you be afraid Joy comes in the morning Troubles, they don't last away For there's a friend named Jesus Who will wipe your tears away And if your heart is broken just lift your hand and say I know that I can make it I know that I can stand no matter what may come your way your life is in God's hand with Jesus you can make it with him I know you can stand no matter what may come your way your life is in God's hand you don't have Hallelujah. to worry thank you Jesus and don't, don't you be afraid, afraid. Joy comes in the morning Joy comes in the morning Troubles they don't last always For oh, there's a friend named Jesus Who will wipe your tears away And if your heart is broken Just lift your hands and
is in the hands of God. No matter what may come your way, your life is in God's hand. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Worry. Don't be afraid. Hallelujah. The song is encouraging us this morning uh, that our life, our life yes. is in the hands of God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. No matter what may, may come your way. way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, your life oh, is in God's hand. No matter you, what may come you, your Jesus. way, you, your life oh. is in God's oh. hand. So you don't have to worry. And, and don't oh. you be afraid. Yeah. 
together. Hallelujah. You are broken. Oh, stop by. God bless you for this privilege. Can we praise the Lord, everybody? Can you just lift your hands and praise the Lord with me? Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. I really appreciate this privilege. I said to Sister Opal, please let me testify. I promise you I'm not going to belong. But from sinking sand, Jesus lifted me. With tender hands, Jesus let on me for all shades of night, tombs of light. Oh, praise the Lord! Jesus lifted, He lifted me. I stand humbly today, brethren, to thank you all for your prayers. Had it not been for your prayers, I would not be standing here tonight, today. The last bounce of this whole trauma as an aftermath of the COVID illness. It's only God. It's only God. It's only God. I remember the fifth practice when I stood there for the youth week. When I staggered with dizziness, Sister Judine said to me, Marie, sit down. We will listen to you while you sit. I staggered through because I wanted to be a part of the ministry. There was a supernatural transformation for those young people who were there, they could give a testimony towards it God transformed my energy I never knew that I could have made it to the 12th practice I said to them on the last practice when we didn't know what to sing that God is going to move in this place I am a witness that I was a part of the movement for the entire week except Monday when I had unforeseen obligations, I stand to give God thanks. Humbly in the presence of the Lord, 
that whatever the purpose may be why I am still alive comes what me through toil through peril Jesus I will go through with thee by your grace and through your continued prayers I mean to make heaven my home thank you very much missionary Hallelujah. he saw me long before I heard before my sin full heart was stirred and when I too came at his word forgiven he lifted me from sick and sad he lifted me with tender hands he lifted me hallelujah hallelujah from shade of Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Bailey, do you know what the health from me? Hallelujah. I'd like to hear a word from her. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Evangelist Bailey. From sinking sand. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord Jesus. Greetings to Apostle, my father, my covering. He knows I always love him no matter what. Today I just want to say thanks be to God for grace that is all sufficient. Doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't matter your circumstances. Glory to God. What God says, God means. And it must come to pass. My aunt died the same November. My sister died a month or two after. And I assessed myself. I said, I don't have mother. I don't have father. I don't have sister. I don't have brother. But I have a great consolation. Holy glory. My consolation is that Jesus is my refuge. He's my hiding place. He's more than mother. He's more than father. Amen. And so I take consolation from that. And I'm happy the day I made my choice. I'm happy for those of you in my family because you have always been there no matter what and I thank God that I have this privilege I have made my choice forever I 
I recognize that even though going through this grief, I went into depression. The enemy came about my mind and he spoke words, but I'm happy. I got up one night and I heard a voice said, pray the Psalms. And I started praying the Psalm. I got strength. So brethren, keep on praying for me. My desire is to make heaven my home. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you. At this time, I turn to missionary Christians in Jesus. Grace, grace, God's grace. Hallelujah. Grace that will pardon. over to our daily bishop I just want to greet my dear apostle my spiritual dad who is what God has made him to be hallelujah I will always say his material cannot be found all is used upon him and we thank God for him also for his dear wife, Pastor Gloria Johnson. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank God for her today. Today she's celebrating her birthday. Hallelujah. It's only God grace could have kept her. Amen. God Almighty, we thank God for her. And before... Yeah, we're going to sing happy birthday today. But there's a song that she loves so well. And the choir going to join in and sing with the congregations. 
I shall be liking, when I shall be more excellent glory, and all my trials are past, I shall be liking. And after that, Sister Grant is going to come to us to do what she has to do. Okay, let's go. Hallelujah. When I shall reach the more excellent glory And all my trials are past I shall be like a wonderful story Could I hear mom trying to do that song? Like him. Oh, wondrously story over and over again. Changed by his spirit from glory to glory. I shall be satisfied then. Hallelujah. I shall be like him. I shall be like him. Glory to God. I shall be like him. And in his beauty shall shine. I shall be like him. One just be like him, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When I was a good girl, I came to this church. I remembered I always see Pastor Johnson, Sister Gurley. And Evangelist Campbell, they were very three good friends. And God has kept her out of the three. She, God has kept her. Oh, God, God is a blessing. God bless you, Pastor Johnson. God bless you with long life. And we continue to pray for you. At this time, Sister Grant will be coming to us. Praise the Lord, everybody. Today it's my esteemed pleasure and honor to be asked to give the charge to our dear Pastor Gloria 
I don't know if Missionary Christy knew what she was doing when she asked me because I could stay all day just to talk about Pastor Joyce. The first thing we recognize is God's goodness. She is here. We're speaking to her. Sir, ma'am, we're speaking to you. We're not speaking about you. We're using the present tense, not the past. Present tense. As she has taken the mic over the years, what has she said? The Lord has been good. He has been very, very good. Those have been her words over the years that we have been under her ministry. Ma'am, we recognize your role. Help me to the apostle. How could he have survived without you? Recognize your sacrifice. Running a family and a household is one job all by itself. Having to take on the responsibilities of church responsibilities is just another. How have you done it? Bishop, a lot of my colleagues who have been pastors, kids, we call them PKs, they don't like the church, you know. They said the church robbed them of their mom and dad when they should have been there to help with homework and so forth. The church time took that up. But we honor you this morning, ma'am. You have been a guidance counselor, chief missionary, chief evangelist, mentor, designer, culinary consultant, banker, academic advisor, and the list goes on. The list goes on. Historian. Not just for the church, but for so many of us lives. We can tell when that person came in, when the children came in, when so and so, and so on. I can remember sitting with her one day, and she said, I remember your mother, you know, and your auntie them. When they would come from Shawbury with the Nisbury and the coconut, and they would park the donkey by the Berti Valley and come into town to do their things. Ma'am, we salute you on this special day. It's another milestone. Yes, sir. Another tremendous milestone. And I couldn't end this charge without buttressing it with just a brief word. Lamentations 3. The weeping prophet Jeremiah. For the first 19 verses or so, he complained about all the hard times he was going through. But when he got to verse 21, he says, This I recall to my mind, therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that were not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion saith my soul, therefore I will hope in him. Pastor, Gloria, you have been, this has been your watchword, the faithfulness of God. And we ask the Lord to continue to bless you, bless you and your household, as you observe yet another milestone. Could you just stand as we give her a round of applause for today? Praise the Lord. Thank you very much, Sister Grant. God bless you. Words of encouragement. Timely went and spoken. God bless you. We, coupled with Pastor Johnson's birthday, we have Evangelist Haynes and um, Missionary Williams. Happy birthday to you all. God bless you. And... Uh, it's not only that 
because Pastor John's born in the month of March, I just want to say everybody that born in the month from January, February, March to this month, happy birthday. God bless you. And it's time we're going to have the young people department to make their presentation. Praise the Lord, everyone. Happy birthday, Pastor Johnson. On behalf of the Young People's Department, we acknowledge your work and your worth. And so on this day, when it is your birthday, we really want to thank the Lord for keeping you, for preserving you in our lives to this hour, in this ministry until this hour. Let me allow her to... Um, happy birthday, Pastor Johnson. On behalf of the youth department, we present to you this token of our appreciation for you. Bless the Lord, I would like to do this very quickly. Um, it's a yearly thing for my mother, mommy. She takes the pleasure on her birthday. She shares it with one of our other sisters, Sister Angie. And as brothers and sisters, today we thought it suitable to hand her a birthday gift from mommy and us to say happy birthday to you, Sister Angie. God bless you. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Pastor Johnson, happy birthday to you, may the good Lord bless you, may the good Lord bless you, may the good Lord bless you. she is. God bless you, Pastor Johnson. Give her a round of applause, everyone. Hallelujah. Before I hand over to Bishop, just in short, if Pastor Johnson could hear me, she has in our midst today one of her students she had taught back up there in Top Church, Brother Junior, my son, Sherman Christie. Stan Sherman. One of Pastor Johnson's two Sunday school students is in the house of the Lord today. Hallelujah. Thank God that he kept reminiscing on what was taught in Sunday school. You know, when you have your children and you grow them up in the fear of God, when they're of age, they know what to do. But thank God. He sees it fit to come and look for his dad because I go to sleep. And today is in the house of the Lord. God bless you, Brother Junior. And I just hope that the Lord will give you a double portion of his blessing today. God bless you all. Can you stand, please? And at this time, without any further, I call for Bishop, Bishop Linda Jones. God bless you. If when you give the best of your service tell him the world that the Savior has come be not dismayed when men don't believe you he'll understand and say well done misunderstood the savior of sinners 
hang on the cross he was God's only son oh here he's called his father in heaven not my will but thine be done oh when I come to the end of my journey weary oh and the battle the battle is won carrying the sap and the cross of redemption he'll understand and say well The battle is won Carrying the staff And the cross of redemption He'll understand And say One, one more time, can you help me? Oh, oh when I come to the end of life's journey yes we hallelujah hallelujah and the battle is won carrying the sad cross step and the cross of redemption he He'll understand. Yes, he'll understand. Oh, he'll understand and say, Well done. Hallelujah. 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 Don't let me ask you to just if you know God deserves a praise due to your personal experience. Just open your mouth wherever you are right now. Hallelujah. And give God what you know He deserves based on your experience. Yeah, Jesus. Hallelujah. If you look back last year, if you look back last month, if you look back last week, just based on your experience. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Again, you don't know the story behind my praise. Hallelujah. 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 Whenever I'm able to walk up in this house and I still, by the grace of God, able, Mr. Brown, to lift my hands, to have my right mind on all of my being working, I know it has to be God. It has to be God. Hallelujah. Life is so challenging now and so frail and so fitful that whenever I get the chance to praise Him, hallelujah, 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 I praise Him. I heard one song man said, I refuse, I will not remain quiet. Ah, yeah, Messiah. Ah, no, I have a weakness in the house. I won't remain silent as long as I'm breathing. 
Oh, I know I have some weakness in the house. As long as I'm breathing, based on your experience, my personal experience, I'm going to praise him. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Just for one more minute, just for one more minute. Just for one more minute. Just for one more minute. Oh, you for you, you, yourself. Open your mouth and give a praise in the house. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I should be dead and gone. But yes, I'm in the presence of God. He has given me one more chance. He has given me one more chance. He has given me one more chance to praise God in the sanctuary. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are praise him. Oh, whether happy. Oh, because praise is what I do. Oh, because I hold it. Oh, One more time. We praise. Oh, through through the good and the bad. Oh, I praise you. Oh, in the happy or sad. Oh, I praise you. Oh, in all. Because praise is what I do Cause I owe it all to you God bless you, God bless you God bless you, I vow to praise you I vow to praise you Jesus I vow to praise you I vow to praise you Oh, hallelujah. Indeed, before I hand over to Apostle, momentarily, I'd like to also give God thanks that he has spared mom's life another time to be in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I, I deem it another, another miracle from God. I deem it another miracle from God because uh, God knows I have faith and as as elder as, as as minister chambers said uh, on friday nights i think or, or wednesday night sometimes you're in a space where you're between fear and fate hallelujah and you just have to pull deep and and pull for the best choice which is faith and walk by faith yeah because god knows i i wasn't sure mom would come back in the house uh, I, we had a situation just recently with mom and when I took her back to the nephrologist on last week Thursday and I, and I saw mom and even pr days prior I, I just held on to faith and seen mom back in the house and is able to sing hallelujah at 85 oh I I've gotten a lot of beating, a spanking from her over the years. And I know ladies don't tell their age, but I'll take this beating, this spanking from mom. Mom is 85 today, sitting in the house of God, having her faculties together. Hallelujah, still can reason and sing. Oh, hallelujah. What a God. Hallelujah. What a God. And guess what, brethren? I, I honestly put it to you um, I, I know and I know I know dad will will agree with us I know God, there, 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 there has been a, a, a awesome calling of God on apostle's life and he was chosen but I promise you if he didn't have a mummy if he didn't have a mummy 
If he didn't have a mommy, it would make the job much harder and more challenging to sit at home with seven of us, seven children, while dad is gone from February to or March to October and sometimes November. From f March to October sometimes and mom have to be there with us. I know it had to be God. It had to be God. And God has been very good. My eldest brother just walked in, Elder Jeffrey Johnson. And uh, we're here. We just like to s just spend a moment and just just honor the matriarch of this organization. A uh, very hard work, as I told somebody recently. I mean, so many times she can't walk now. She can't walk from a few years now, and the pain she feels in her legs. Uh, I know, Mom, always before the the sewing machine. The making slips and aprons and and your name it selling stuff uh, to send the the, the, the the gospel and to send the man of God on mission to fund the radio broadcast and the, the work that she has done and we we want to give God thanks for her we really give God thanks that she was able when I went by this morning and I I, I questioned she didn't get much sleep last night and I wondered if she'd be here today but by the time she got up and she got herself together she started asking for her clothes to put on to be in the house of God and we give God thanks this morning and especially I can clearly remember every time the man of God was going out as long as he was in the island of Jamaica and going to many tent services. Pastor Johnson, evangelist, the late evangelist Campbell is always there. Missionary Brown, Elder Brown, if it is four nights, if it is three nights, if it is for the entire week, they're always there holding up the hands I I, I, I take note we will be whining very very soon but I'm just waiting until the apostle get back gets back in but I, I remember even recently they celebrated uh, I think it was uh, Bob, Bob Marley's birthday and for the entire day the radio stations So if we can just spend a moment and give God thanks for a wonderful, virtuous woman of God that deserves all the accolades. My, my dad loved to draw on what, she would call, what he would call the boy the motor road. The rags boy, I'm always saying. <laughs> that always drawn the rags boys. That, that always saying, if I could borrow his term today, I would borrow one of the rag, rags boys' term and song to say, she is really royal. Yeah, she's royal. She's a virtuous, virtuous woman of God. And we really give God thanks for spearing her life on her 85th birthday to be seated in the house of God one more time with us and Elder Johnson is back in I'll give him the opportunity just to see a short word God bless you God bless you Elder Johnson God bless you praise the Lord everybody the Lord is very good to me I can't complain this morning today brings much joy to my heart 
apart from the Lord and what he has done for me. Just the fact that today's mom's birthday, I had to take a little bit of time off from my duties to come to say happy birthday in this environment. Normally, especially like today and where we are, I wouldn't have left work as yet, but I had to come to celebrate with you. I'd like to say to Apostle Johnson, Daddy, Bishop Johnson, my brother, and those who administrate in this church, thanks for having taken a little time out for us to say, happy birthday, Mom. I heard him just say, it, she's royal. I don't have to try to multiply my love for her or whatever. I know I love her. And mommy knows I love her. When I called this morning from where I was, um, she said to me, you start telling me up a birthday from yesterday. And as my brother had said, the past two or so weeks, we've been living on edge. When I saw what was happening with mommy, I said, God, please, there are so many persons who enter this world and close to their birthday, they depart. I asked him, please let mommy see another birthday. He said earlier, ladies don't like their ages to be exposed. But one time mommy would say to me, stop telling people my age. But I'm so proud of mommy's age. She's the oldest and longest living person in her generation. And that is the reason why I just have to magnify it. At work this morning, I told the COO, I told the project managers, I told my employees. I, I was so happy just jumping up and saying, well, Mr. Johnson, I said, today's my mom's birthday. She's 85 years old. And even one guy had a birthday today with mommy like Angie. She, he heard and he ran and he just grabbed me and hugged me. I said, yes, my mom is 85 years old and we are so blessed. Later on this year, my dad celebrates 85 years old. My parents, the Lord has blessed them with age. On the 7th of June this year, they will celebrate 60 years together. This is a momentous occasion for us. So I say to you all, thanks much for having taken the time out to celebrate with Daddy and Mommy. Daddy, I love you. Mommy, I love you. My siblings, I love you all. Quite often, we magnify the work that Tina has done. And we can't let it go by. And there are others who help with the work, with taking care of mommy. And to dirty. everybody, everybody has helped. There's some time that everybody has chipped in to take care of her. And when I thought about mommy this morning, I even said it to Denny when we spoke. All that mommy needs now is just love and care. So thanks for giving her love and thanks for caring for her. And today I say thanks again for having taken the time out to help us to let her feel royal. God bless you all. Bless you. God bless you, Elder Johnson. And again, I just endorse our big sisters at the house. The, the work they have done to help to sustain Apostle and Presiding Bishop and Pastor Johnson, as I said to one of them earlier this week, we could not do it as children on as blood children on our own. We possibly would have lost them already, but we give God thanks for them. Missionary Campbell, God bless you. And all the other brethren, all our other big sisters, we love and appreciate you. And we'll continue in the, the wider community of the church without your support and your prayers. We would not be here. They would not be here. So we deeply give God thanks for you and to our e-church. We give God thanks for you also. The brethren that will always call in momentarily to inquire about dad and mom. We do appreciate it. And we just stop for a moment and we give God thanks for you. And if by chance you want more word, uh, you can just flip 
the services earlier this week you'll get a lot of preaching so if you can just allow us just for a moment just to say that God is really a good God really an awesome God and somebody asked about the both of them this week and when I explained to them just give them a synopsis of their the both of them medical profile they just lift their head and just shook it both having about three or four comorbidities that they are challenged with but God is an awesome God even on a bad day what seemed to be a bad day God is God is the I am that I am God is hallelujah 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 and we shall overcome hallelujah we shall overcome and to us here in Brownstown, we need to continually give God thanks and don't take the presence of God among us. We are winners. I win. Hallelujah. In spite of what you might think about me, your impression. Hallelujah. I opened my mouth and said, I win. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus, we have the victory. Oh, tell me who can stand before us. I guess a lot of us didn't even realize what happened in the house earlier. Hallelujah. The brother just got up and testified. Could you stand up? So could you stand up? Could you stand up? He came for apostle to pray for him. And by, that, by the time he got back to his seat, in a little bit, he got the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We are so, we are so used to the presence of God. I heard about churches uh, for years. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can everybody in the house just jump your feet right now and give God a praise? Can somebody give God a praise? Before we call to this podium, before we call to this congregation, Apostle, we have worshiping with us from again from Douglas Castle. Missionary Douglas, could you come? Uh, her, her pastor was here on Friday night, and these brethren wanted to come back, wanted to come with him, and didn't get a chance to come. And he called me this morning that they are on their way and they wanted to come. And I'm just giving her the opportunity to greet us. We give God thanks for you visiting with us today. And that's from Douglas Castle. God bless you. God bless you from Douglas Castle. God bless you. Go ahead. Hallelujah. 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 Truly it's a blessing for me to be in this house of God today. Bless the name of Jesus. Um, it's my first time being here. Hallelujah. But truly I can say it's not by chance. Hallelujah. It's by the will of God today that I am here. Hallelujah. I must greet Apostle Johnson. Hallelujah. God bless you. God, you are, I just want to say you are doing a great job. Hallelujah. I just pray the Lord will continue to lead you that you will save so ma many, many more souls. Hallelujah. I must greet Bishop Johnson. All the ministers in the house beautiful choir hallelujah visiting friend mothers little children i greet in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah truly today you know i was there i said i don't want to go back with my testimony i just want to give my testimony and i was so you know and the lady um, she came to me and she said don't worry bishop will let you greet the church hallelujah and today i must say i'm glad to be here hallelujah but i just want to share my testimony with you hallelujah I always set myself to listen on Tuesday night for the, the broadcast of Bishop Johnson. Always, hallelujah, always want to be here. But you know at times when you have an unsaved husband, it's not really easy. It's a fight. Hallelujah. But I always listen to the broadcast and I always want to be here. But this time God will have it, you know, that I did not remember that Tuesday night that it was time to, to turn on the radio and listen to Apostle Johnson. I was there sitting on the bed with my phone, you know, paying attention to the phone. There come my husband came in, he turned on the radio, and there it was, Bishop was on the broadcast. Showers of Pentecost. Yes, showers of Pentecost. Um, he was so excited. I was saying in myself, what is going on? 
I was there not paying any attention, not paying in any mind, because somehow I said, I don't know if he's real or he's just, you know. But anyway, he was there rejoicing and shouting. So after the broadcast finished, I said, I always want to go to um, Apostle Johnson Church. He said, why you don't let us go? I said, really? I said, really? Okay, I said, I was so happy. I said, he said, I want thing I want to tell you, you know, if we are going, remember, I'm not a late man. So make sure. I said, really? You know, so I was there. I was saying, God, what is going on? But when I really see, really agree, and he said, let us go next week, Sunday. I said, thank you, Jesus. I go to church this Sunday, and as well, um, they were announcing the, the youth week. I said, oh, my God, this is a confirmation. So I have to get up and testify and tell them what really happened. You know? So, you know, it was a rejoicing. And... The other bridging came Friday, but we were not able to come. So I said, um, if today is the day that the Lord gave us, we will be here. Hallelujah. And truly today, we are here, and I know we are going to receive a blessing. Bless the name of Jesus. Um, I will just ask Apostle Johnson to lay hand on my family, you know. And I know the Lord. There is nothing that God cannot do. And I always put my trust in him. You know, and I know God have a set time for everything. Let us just wait upon the Lord because we know he will come true for us. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise him. Praise the Lord, everybody. Oh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name. Oh, we have the victory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, oh, demons will have to be. Oh, tell me who can stand before us when we go in that great name. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, we have the victory. One more time, oh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we have the victory. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh, demons will have to flee. Oh, tell me who can stand before us when we go in that great name. Oh, Jesus, precious Jesus. We have the victory. God bless you. God bless you. Again, just before I call Apostle, we have Evangelist Dawes from Canada, USA, with us. I'm a member, one of those members of the Ark. He's not on the island, but he is still a part of everything that we do. Uh, integral part of the media team um, of the Apostolic Ark uh, and uh, so much a part of us there's some persons that have left the shores of the island of Jamaica but uh, I'm sure if you put their their DNA on a, on a genus sequencing machine you'll still see Apostolic Ark written in them and uh, Brother Dawes is one of those persons Evangelist Dawes I'll just ask you to come very quickly and greet us Evangelist Dawes before I hand to Apostle God bless you God bless you. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Come on, somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody open up your mouth and give God a praise. All the winners in the house, can we give God a praise? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody who has been frightened, but now you know for a sure that your victory has been confirmed. Can you give God a praise in this house? Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. God bless you, God bless you. I won't take much time. I know time is far spent and I know that the apostle is charged. God bless you, sir. It's such a pleasure to be here. It's such a pleasure, pleasure to be here. I never identify with anywhere else. This is home always. So we, give, we just want to give God thanks to Pastor Johnson. Happy birthday. God bless you. Elder Johnson, it's good to see you. Elder Mac, Bishop Johnson, God bless you. For all of you that are doing a wonderful work here. Listen, 
it is a pleasure to be called to serve in the kingdom of God. And if it is that you're called to serve in the kingdom of God, let us do what we're called to do with joy, knowing that we will receive a reward at the end of the day. God bless you. Keep on praying for me. I also bring reason from Charlene, my wife. God bless you. Everyone, God bless you. God bless you. Keep standing. Let's all stand in the house. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, oh how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Oh, one more time. Oh, how. Without any further ado, I bring to this August body of God's people, none other than Apostle and Presiding Bishop, Honorary Dr. G.W. Johnson this time. God bless you. God bless you. Brethren, praise the Lord. And again, I want to say praise the Lord. The other two men, if you testify already, do it if you don't stand up right now. Praise the Lord, everybody. Lord. Today, I give God thanks just being in His house another time. The song that was on my mind, Time is Far Spent, I won't, I won't sing it. It's a song that we did years ago that says, Lord, I apologize for sinning before your throne. I know I was wrong. The word said, so will you pardon me and take me back again? Because I know you're soon to come. God bless you. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. The song man said, what a friend, what a precious friend. So complete and so divine. If you walk this whole world over, there's none other that you can find. Brethren, when I said praise the Lord to everybody in the house, I am not certain of the different one name or so, but blessed be the name of the Lord. I want to just encourage you. I could give you one word and sit down, but I might go a little more. God Almighty, from sundry time, He deny Himself. God Almighty, at the bread, all of us that in the house and jumping and everything like Jesus Christ God Almighty leave his he leave his business God Almighty and said I'm going for he got a call Jesus shake him up and say, I want to send you east, west, north or south. Jesus is ready to save us. Thy, whatever it is in the people here, if God Almighty at top wasn't a God of love, we would not be here, you know. But the, the greatest lover 
Keta Shandeli Manga Mama Wasika. The greatest lover, Jesus. Leave is precious. Listen, brethren, when you come to praise the Lord, praise Him. If you don't come with a mind to praise the Lord, don't come here. Because um, if you come inside and you're sick, and they ask anybody, say, call and put your hand on you. God Almighty, without the good God, instead you get up, you drop dead. But the guy said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Who should I fear? The Lord is the strength and of who? When the Eve, the wicked, come to slaughter the people, God Almighty spit in his fear and bless him. What a good God. Help me, what a good God. Help me again, what a good Help me, what a good God. The old God from east to west. People, settle and check your life and know how you are in the church. The only reason why I'm here is because he lead me. Jesus Christ, he wake me up one day and he placed his hand around me and he said, follow me. Hallelujah! He didn't have two God. He said, follow me. My God Almighty attacked from that day and he called me until this day yes I walk to the valley of the God Almighty at top if the God that I'm serving was not the one that Johnson would not be here all different kind of things could have killed me but Jesus yeah, do I walk to the valley? Yes, 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 yes. I fear no evil. Yes. Yes. I fear no evil. Yes. 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 This is one little brother, fear no man. Why? Jesus is mine. Shepherd. He's my shepherd. And everywhere he goes. And I have to be following him just like this. Jesus Christ, God Almighty. Sometime I feel I would die. But I look and say, Jesus, God of sorrow, here am I. And when I said, Here am I, he said, Son, follow me. When you talk about God Almighty, thing is not a man that you believe can, you can check him and play what little something. Jesus is our life and our salvation. Boy, say, who shall I fear? Guys, say, the Lord is the 
strength. That's why I don't afraid for nobody. If you come after me, God kill you. For his life, hold me. And brethren, if you can take just a taste, guy said, Come and taste the I wonder if anybody feel anything. Come and taste. When you sit down in your bed and around and you start to talk to Jesus, Did Jesus hear you? Don't think that Jesus did. So whatever the situation, brothers, put it in the hand of God. Say, God, take this for me. Praise the Lord. And he is our light and our salvation. And Michael Almighty, so whom shall I fear? The Lord is strength of my life. Of whom shall when even the mother come to Brother Johnson? When you will walk with the Lord, fear nobody. I drop dead if I afraid for anybody. Because the Lord saturate me. And Jesus made me and since God make me I don't dread you I didn't want to keep on a silent but trust the Lord be the Lord rest in the Lord my God Almighty attack whatever around you in your bed and any place and when you can't feel our eyes say Jesus Jesus, come by a sucker. Jesus, listen, pain hit myself and I start to say, Jesus. And I start to Jesus. And no time from that. I don't know where pain is cancer. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom? Brother Johnson and your brethren, I'm asking you. I could give the mic. Trust the Lord. Elder, I could let go the mic with it and tell you, trust the Lord. And I could sit down. I trying to encourage him, young man. He said, young man, I call you because you're strong. I got almighty attack. If the Lord call you, what should you turn left or right? Hear what he said and follow after him. And Jesus Christ is ready, ready. To rescue you, take him out. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wish somebody could stand to your feet and give God a praise. I wish somebody could give God a praise in the house. After closing off a week like this, a word from the man of God, I heard it just now. Trust in the Lord. Because the Lord is my light and my salvation. Believe in him and rest in the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm just going to ask somebody wherever you are right now. Just open your mouth in your space. And say the Lord is. And add anything to him. That you need anything to that you need him to be. For you right now. Anything that you need him to be. Just, just add the Lord is. 
and just add to it hallelujah hallelujah the lord is my healer the lord is my strength the lord is my father he's my lawyer he's my doctor he's my deliverer he's my best friend hallelujah trust in him rest in the lord hallelujah and wait patiently for him the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear listen watch this the lord is a strength I am Asata. Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to call an altar call, but I'm just going to ask somebody just to hold your neighbor and just squeeze them and tell them the Lord is the strength of, of my life. Hallelujah. The enemy thought I would have been down yesterday and out. The enemy didn't expect me to be here today, but the Lord is the strength of my life. Open your mouth and speak it in your space. The Lord is. Incidentally, I heard a speaker this morning on the radio. We're just elaborating. Don't don't see. Don't uh, take your seat. I'm gonna be winding up. And he, he said that the, a lot of us, when we we don't understand the word of God, why God tells us. And the Bible tells us that we need to speak out in the atmosphere. He said, let the weak do what? Let the weak do what? Open your mouth in the atmosphere and say, I am strong. That's why I said, I am that I am. And that's why the man of God said today, the Lord is my. And I say to you today, leaving this week of convention, I am saying to you, wherever you are, open your mouth in your space and claim the authority. Claim your space. Open your mouth and say, the Lord is. And whatever you choose to add to it, when you leave the space tomorrow, hallelujah 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 i wish you could just just hit somebody beside you and say the lord is the lord is the lord is uh, leaving this week the lord is uh, the lord is uh, the lord is anything uh, you desire for him to be the lord is I will shout at a mama massa. Hallelujah. That family from Douglas class, class that came for prayer. The, the family, could you come? Hallelujah. Sister Wilson, you said you want the man of God to touch you. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, me about and said, The Lord is. Uh, the Lord is. The Lord is. Uh, the Lord is. I will shout at a massa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God is the joy. He's the strength of my life. He removes. Could you just kneel down right here with your family? He promised to keep me never. Never to leave Oh, never. Never, never for sure. Oh, I'm gonna bless and pray. Can some of the missus, could you just come and help us at this time? Oh, I want to go with him. When he comes back, oh, come oh, back. hallelujah, oh, God is, oh, yes, oh, God is, oh, God is, oh, God is, oh, God is, God is my He's the strength of my life. He removes all. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, we promise. Oh, never. Oh, never. 
Somebody help me in the house. Oh, I want to go with him. Oh, I've come too far and I never turn back. Oh, God is. Oh, God is. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, God is. Oh, 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 oh God is. Oh, God is. God is my heart in Oh, I want to say that one more time Oh, God is the joy, He's the strength Oh, He removes Oh, He promised God bless you, hallelujah Never, never for sure. No, oh, I'm gonna, gonna bless and praise him in the narrow way and keep my life clean every oh, day. I wanna, wanna go with him. When he comes oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, God is. Hallelujah. Just go ahead and praise God in the house. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and praise Him. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and praise Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can somebody praise God in the house? Hallelujah. I'm on the stairway to heaven tonight. I'm climbing higher and higher each day. And when I reach the upper 
I'd step inside the pearly gate I'm on the stairway to heaven tonight Oh, I'm on the stairway Oh, stairway Oh, I'm climbing Here for baptism, I'm she's here for baptism. Oh, I'm on the stairway. Oh, stairway. Oh, climbing. Oh, and when I reach, I step inside. I'm on the stairway. God bless you. God bless you. I'm on the stairway. Take it for baptism, please. I'm on the stairway to heaven tonight. Oh, oh, I'm on the stairway. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Climbing higher each day. And when I reach, I step inside. Put your hands together, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm on the stairway Hallelujah, hallelujah Oh, I'm climbing Oh, hallelujah And when I reach Hallelujah Put your hands together, somebody Oh, I'm on the stairway Step inside. Oh, I'm on the stairway. Just be with me a little bit. I'm on the stairway. Stairway. Oh, I'm climbing higher each day. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll step inside. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. Oh, I'm climbing. Step inside. I'm on the stairway. Thank you, Jesus, on, on the, the pages, pages of the Holy Word. I am glad I have learned for forgiveness. I am glad that my name is in the book. For I want to be one ever fairy on the face of my sister to love. She's the gospel child. Get on, it's not too late. Oh, get on board. Saints will be 
coming saints. Oh, Jesus Christ. Go keep your seats. She's the gospel church. She's moving on. Get on board. It's not too late. Oh, get on board. Saints will be coming. Oh, Jesus Christ. Keep your seats. The gospel church, she's moving on. Get on board. It's not, not too late to try her now. Get on board. Saints will be coming. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. She's the gospel church. Get on board. Sister Shakira Graham upon the confession of her faith and the death and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and the confidence we have in the words of God and are baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth for remission of sins as you have received the gift of the Holy Ghost in Jesus name. Here among the shadows in a lonely land where a band of pilgrims of the moon can the hushes come forward please? Burning down with sorrow Can the hushes come forward? Shone on every hand oh, looking, looking for a city built above Oh, looking for a city a city Where we'll never die We'll never Her savior, meet her savior and our love was too. Oh, oh, Holy Spirit, oh, our hope renew. Yes, we are looking for a city where. God bless you. The ushers could you direct the breathing down for the day's tithes and offering, please. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Here bites, here bites. Hallelujah, he abides with me And rejoicing night and day As I walk the narrow way For the Comforter abides with me Oh, he abides, he abides Hallelujah, he abides with me And rejoicing night and day as I walk the narrow way for 
One more time, he abides. Hallelujah, he abides. Hallelujah, he abides with me. And rejoicing night and day as I walk the narrow way. Oh, for the comforter abides with me. Oh, he abides. He abides. Hallelujah, he abides. God bless you. Just lift your hands and praise God in the house. Can somebody glorify God in the house? Can somebody praise the Lord in the house? Oh, God bless you. God bless you to God be the glory. Great things he hath done on another Sunday. In this place, God bless you. We give God thanks that his presence continue to dwell in and among us. God is indeed an awesome God. We again give God thanks for your support over last week. We're Someone's still asking the brethren from Brownstown. Oh, before I get there, I'd like to say thanks on behalf of a pastor and presiding bishop to all the team members that worked so assiduously over last week to help us to have a successful youth convention. I will not be able to call all the names uh, just to avoid getting in trouble, but all the team members led by our uh, youth overseer and I would say minister of youth in the organization, um, Evangelist McDonald and our youth president, now youth president, missionary. Brown and the Central District Youth Committee and also the local youth committee of the Apostolic Ark. We give all thanks for the great work that you have done and also the Board of Elders in the district. Uh, we'll have to convey to them um, the great work they have done in supporting the process over the last week. We indeed are still imploring the brethren to understand this, that whatever you do, you do as unto God. I was in a forum yesterday. I was in and out and um, we're doing the parables of Jesus Christ. And I was made to understand that the, the guy that got one talent, if you should do a, a comparison or or an equivalent in the currency, U.S. currency today, the guy that got one talent would have got 54,000 U.S. dollars. I think it's 1,000 or million U.S. dollars to work with. That was the equivalent in the day. The person with the one talent. And what, what, what the, the teacher was pointing out is that um, God, uh, Jesus didn't give, or, or in the talent, and, and the, in the parable, he didn't just give somebody something menial. It was a substantial amount he gave him to work on. And he expected him to do good with it. Can you imagine even 54,000 Jamaican dollars to work with, to turn over? It could do some form of business. And if you put that, as I said, I'll make sure at some point I'll bring it back to you because it was so potent. And what it was saying is that everyone in the house of God, in the kingdom of God, has a duty. And whatever God has given into you, 
as your calling or your ministry or your gift, God is expecting you to work assiduously at your gift and your calling. And he gave gifts according to the abilities. So what we're saying here, whatever God has placed in your keeping, be good stewards of same. And remember that, as I think it was Minister Brown reminded us on Tuesday night, that you will not be paid by Apostle Johnson and lease of all. You won't be paid by me. Your pay will be coming from the Almighty God. So we give God thanks for those persons who continually be fervent at their posts. God bless you.